All right, Israel, we're back for part two of this. So this is one law, part four. Should Israel behave as the nations that surrounds it? This is part two of this. We're going to start off in Jeremiah. We left off. We're going to start off in Jeremiah 2, verses 1 through 14. And what we're talking about here, basically, is we're trying to establish, um, should we be living, taking on the traditions, um, the mindsets of the nations that we live around since we are Hebrew Israelites. We are Israel. And God gave us Yah, the Most High Yah gave us a way to, that we should live. And so uh, Jeremiah 2, you know, I'm just going to read this little blurb here and then I'm going to go into Jeremiah 2. So, but, but we as a nation of is a nation Israel, we run with the lie that the, the, the law, statutes and commandments, the law was done away with. And as a result of that, well, not as a result of that, but we were told in Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, that if we follow the custom, culture, and heritage of a heathen, of heathens or Gentile nations we live amongst, we have, and, you know, that these curses would come upon us. And we have done this for millennia. And it has cast us, it has cost us to be thrust into um, uh, many bondages. In Jeremiah 2, 1, 4, 2 verses 1 through 14 it says moreover the word of of yahuwah came to me saying go and cry in the ears of jerusalem saying thus said yahuwah i remember thee the kindness of thy youth the love of thy espousal when thou wentest after me in the wilderness in a land that was not sown israel was holiness unto yahuwah and the first fruits of his increase all that devour him shall offend evil shall come upon them saith the lord said yahuwah Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith Yahuwah, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? Neither said they, Where is Yahuwah that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us out through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death? Through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land and mine heritage and abomination. The priests said not, Where is Yahuwah? And they, and they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me and the prophets prophesied of Baal, false gods and walk after things that do not profit. Wherefore I, I will I yet plead with you, said Yahuwah, and with your children's children will I plead. He knew there was going to be generations that he was going to have to plead with. For pass over the isles of Chittim and see, and send unto Gadar, and consider diligently, and see if there be such a thing. Have the nations changed their gods, which are not yet not no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O you heavens, at this, and horribly and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, said Yahuwah. For my people have committed two evils. Listen up, Israel. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. I know you guys know this when you read the New Testament, you New Testament followers, you know this. I'll read it again. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me the, fount me, the fountain of living water, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water, false gods, gods that are made by man. Okay? Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? Why are we spoiled, Israel? Listen up. This is the curses that will come upon us as a nation, as a people, as individuals, if we did not keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High Yah. Deuteronomy verse 20, uh, chapter 28, verses 15 through 68. And you can think, she's going to read all that? Hmm, we'll see. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, of uh, Yahuwah thy Elohim, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket in store. Remember the, the blessings that I read earlier? Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body. Y'all children, our children, our sons, our daughters. And the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. So that we if we had, you know, cattle and sheep and stuff, they would just we would just they would have babies and we would just have plenty. We don't have any we don't even have land, we don't have animals, we don't have those things. Uh curse shall be thou thou shall be thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord Yahuwah shall send upon thee cursings, vexations, and rebuke, and all thou that thou settest thy hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed. I mean, I know there's been people out here, um, and, and that even as just an individual, you 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 seem like you can't just you can't get it together. It doesn't matter what you do; it always fails, or there's always some stuff going on in your lives. Listen up. I'm going to read that one again. The Lord shall send upon thee cursings and vexations and rebuke. And all thy set is thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken the Most High Yah. You have forsaken Yah. He chose us as a people. We have forsaken him. We have turned away from him. We have gone, if you read in scripture, you have gone a whoring after other gods. We have turned our back on the true living God, the creator of all things good and evil, for those guys that were conjured up in somebody's mind. Or some statue that has 15 arms. You know? Some false prophet that said he found these tablets in the wilderness and this. And, 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 and this religion that's a combination of um, Judaism and a combination of whatever other religion and, and put it all together and it's a great nation now <laughs> the Yahuwah shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whither thou goest to possess we're no longer in our land <laughs> Yahuwah shall smite thee with consumption and with the fever and with an inf inflammation and with extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish wherever we are in the world they can you know they can pretty much just murder us you know they can burn our homes down when when our when our my ancestors came out of sla slavery here and if they were, you know, um, had land or was given land, willed land by their uh, former slave masters, they would run off that land. That land was stolen from them under threat of murder. Nothing, you know, there was, it's like, you know, no, it was, there was nothing. There was nothing we can, like, hold on to as a nation, as a people. You know, even the monies that we spend in this country right here, this is trillions of dollars, you know, in buying power. We, we can't establish anything. We can't establish anything. Our own communities are atrocious. They're atrocious, you know. So let me continue on. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Harsh life. A harsh life we live as a people no matter where we are. Africa, North America, South America, the islands, no matter where we are. It's harsh as a group, as a nation. It's harsh life. Yahuwah shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. He seeks to destroy us as a people because of our disobedience. Uh, Yahuwah shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. We see that every day. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. And shall be removed into all the kings of the earth. That's the transatlantic slave trade right there, people. And thy carcasses shall be meat unto the fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. How many of people in here in the United States, um, you know, have, was was hung? Women and children and men, and were hung, and the birds would eat our flesh, come by and land upon us, and and eat our flesh, you know. Or gator, we were gator bait. They take our babies and they feed them to the alligators to catch the alligators. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, the plagues of Egypt, and with the emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch whereof thou canst be healed. Disease. Disease. 
those same type of diseases that were put upon the land of uh, Egypt Pharaoh to get us out of bondage the same things he's putting on us now that we're not in Egypt and we're 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 in the second Egypt now but we're in, in bondage now but those diseases are upon us and Yahuwah shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart we don't have any strength as a people we don't and thou shalt grope at noonday as a blind gropeth in darkness and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways and, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore and no no man shall save thee and i'm going to just divert here for a really quick story when it says here and and thou shalt grope in the noonday when i was um you know living in germany i was dating this gentile um and it wasn't white guy but he was not of the nation of israel i know that now but anyway i was dating him and i had actually stopped you know um even though i had no knowledge that i was israel i was one of the, from one of the tribes of israel i i grew up in the in the church i on a regular basis i read scripture i mean there was nothing um, from being a little girl, I always had a, a special connection with scripture. And I, even if it, you know, it didn't matter what version it was, you know, translation was, I just have always been a reader of scriptures. And I remember when I started dating this guy, this is so sad, but I actually put those things to the side. I actually put my relationship with the Most High Yah to the side. And I'm just going to sh cut this short and just tell you if personally when i had come away from my heritage and and you know actually had forsaken my heritage and i actually and i i did it i did it i don't know if i did it consciously or unconsciously i think i did it consciously i, I did it consciously because i kind of put things to the side and i just wanted to to see where this relationship would take me it took me somewhere okay but i can tell you and on, on at least four occasions, when it says that thou shalt grope at noonday, I would come out of my apartment in Frankfurt, and I had to come out of a landing there with like seven or eight steps I had to go down. And then you go um, the foyer and then down seven or eight more steps to get to the outside. And I'm telling you, in a noonday, with my eyes wide open, I would have to grab onto this, to that post, the railing, and step because I was so far from Yah, from Yahuwah, from the Mashiach, from the set apart um, Ruach. I was so out of who I was. I had no confidence that what I was seeing right in front of me to walk down those steps was actually there. This is my testimony to you. So, and I know what he says this. It's so true. Thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind grope in the darkness. I was in the darkness, people. I'm telling you. But I'm going to go on. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and another shall dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. That's slavery right there. That's slavery right there for those that were dis dispersed in the transatlantic slave to our ancestors. That's slavery right there. You marry a woman, and master will come over and sleep with her, and... You would plow the fields and you get the scraps and they would get all the fruits of your labor. That's 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 slavery. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be uh, ass shall be finally taken away from before thy face and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thy enemies and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. Slavery, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So they would get to a certain age, and they would sell off the, the um, uh, save, sell off the children to other slave masters, to other plantations for work and labor. The fruit of thy hand, of thy land, and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away, always, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And Yahuwah shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs and, and with sore bosh and cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of your head. Disease, debilitating disease that, that'll hit us, arthritis, you know, not even talking about the sexually transmitted, just the diseases, just from, you know, the body, the, you know, the environment we live in, you know. 
so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Yahuwah shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with the sword box that cannot be healed, and from the sole of thy feet unto the top of thy head. Yahuwah shall bring thee and thy king that which thou shalt set over thee. You hear that? So we wanted a king. He gave us a king. And what that king do? Read the scriptures. Hmm. <laughs> A king which thou shalt set over thee until a nation whether which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. The land of our captivity. Not only did we have slave masters over us, but we have mayor, city council, governors, presidents. Everybody's over us. They decide our fate. I don't care about that whole, you know, voting system they have in place. They decide our fate. Even when we get in positions of power, we're told this is how you will behave and you will do it. And they do it. They do it. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Well, the Lord, uh, Yahuwah shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods of wood and stone. Islam, Christianity, wood and stone. Stone is that big stone that they go around at the, uh, at, what did they call that? Um, Aaliyah, something like that. Well, now Aaliyah is going back to your land, but I think the Hajj or something like that, where they go and they walk around that big stone. Um, I don't know how many times they do it, but that's Islam. Um, and then the wood is the stake that um um uh, which they call JC was hung on. Christianity, that's what that is. Christianity. Uh, serve other gods of wood and stone, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither thou shalt go. We know all the bywords and all that stuff they call us. It calls everything but the child of God, right? That's what that's what's happened because we've been disobedient. Thou shalt carry much seed out of out into the field, and shall gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. So even when we did have land, we didn't have good crop. We didn't have good uh, harvest. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat disease and pestilence shall take over our land. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coast, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine oil shall cast his fruit, for thine olive shall cast his fruit. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. That's what happened. All thy trees and fruits and fruit of thy land shall be locusts consumed. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. We can look at every community in our in the United States and our black communities, and we can see Arabs and Koreans and Chinese and just anybody, uh, you know, whites or whatever, whomever in our community, and we give our, our, our dollars, our power to them. We don't have stores in our community, and those that we do, we don't patron, uh, we don't patron them for whatever um, sick reason. We don't. And that uh, he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. We talked about that earlier. We we borrow everything. We don't own anything. Moreover, all of these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, so thou be destroyed, because thou hearkens not unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. So when your pastor, your minister, your rabbi, whomever it is that you sit under is telling you the law is done away with, they are lying to you. They are lying to you. It is a bold face, a lie from the pit of hell to continue to keep Israel asleep, scales over their eyes. And we just run with it. Oh, we don't have to keep the law because you know it. You know it's not. It's not. It's not hard. It's not hard to not kill somebody. To sleep with a married man or sleep with a married woman. It's not hard. It's not hard to keep Shabbat the Sabbath. You go to church on Sunday, so Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. You fellowship with a Hebrew is like Israelite community. It's not hard not to eat pork, eat unclean food. Fish don't have scales and, and fish, you don't eat that. If it don't uh, chew the cut and have a split hoof, you don't eat that. It tells you 
He tells us what's good for us to eat, to consume. He tells us we can drink, but we don't get drunk. All, I mean, we have the guidance. And it's good guidance. It's good guidance. It's not, it's not um, oppressive. It's good. Let's say, no, I say. Hmm. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. <sighs> forever, until we turn back, till we turn back. Because thou servest not Yahuwah uh, thy Elohim with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. We don't, we don't, we don't love him. And to love him is to keep his, keep his commandments. We don't praise him. Either in deed or in in, in in song, we don't we don't do that as a people. It says, and this is what happens. So therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies with the Lord, with the Yahuwah, which Yahuwah shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in all one of things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until we have been destroyed. Yahuwah shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as a swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue that we did not understand when they took us, did they? A nation with fierce countenance, which shall not regard a person of old nor show a favor to the young. Isn't that what they do? See how they treat our babies? And we, that guy went out there and shot that little boy in the um in the um playground playing with a little toy gun. He got out the car and like two seconds later that boy was there. He got out, he just got out with the intent to kill him. Oh, wake up. This is why these things are happening to us as a nation. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or ore, or the increase of thine cattle, or the increase of thine flocks, or thy sheep, until he have destroyed thee. We are in a nation that seeks to destroy us and have been for over 400 years, wherever we were dispersed to. Okay? The only reason... That we haven't been totally destroyed. It's because of the mercy. Because Yahuwah has not seen fit to have his people totally annihilated. Remember, he knows everything. So he knows that eventually we will come back. But he has not seen fit to allow them to destroy us in over 400 years of captivity. Wherever we are on this planet. Okay? And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy hand and fence walls come down where thou st trusted us throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. So Yahuwah gave us, he gave us our land. And what did he do? They, these armies came in and, and just, just took our land and, and, and ruled over us. And this has happened for millennia. This has been happening for thousands of years. This is nothing new for our people. What did it say back here? Let me read that first again. It's quite um appropriate. Let's see it. I can find it. Here it is. It's at the end of Jeremiah verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home born slave? Why is he destroyed? <laughs> and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until the, until thy high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trustedest, destroying our temples. Throughout all thy land, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord, which Yahuwah thy Elohim, have given thee. It was the temples that were destroyed. Jerusalem was sacked. Look at it. Uh, 53. We're almost done. <laughs> um, and thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body and flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee. Ah. So that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. That is so prevalent in our communities that, and I call it a slave mentality. And it's because we've been, in, you know, just dispersed and, and, and been in so many bondages. But I call it a slave mentality where, um, you know, 
we we hate each other. You know, we we're in captivity, but we, and because we have no power, we have no strength, we turn against each other. We like destroy each other. We destroy our own nation from the inside. We implode. Um, you can look at look in the um, the household, single parent household, whether it's a single man or a single a woman, it doesn't matter. It's the other part that will help to raise those children. Ideally, is 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 not there. Um, and you have, you know, the women having babies with, you know, three and four different men. And then you have the men having babies with five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different women. And nobody's taking care of nobody. Nobody's loving nobody. You understand? This is the, this is, this is why we're in the state we're in because we are disobedient, stiff necked people and have been for thousands of years that's why our temples have been Jerusalem has been sacked that's why we've been you know just you know in bondage for thousands of years i mean we we, we do okay and then we're okay and then we get leadership and then as a people we just go down the drain and every time Yahuwah has an answer for it he has set his, his word as it went forth and it's going to do what it's set out to do so there's no excuse so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath not left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her feet upon the ground of delicateness or tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards husband of her bosom, toward her son and toward her daughter. So the men are going to have evil eyes towards the woman. And their children, okay, and the women are going to have evil eye towards their husband and their children. So that's why I said they're imploding, destroying each other from within. So we turn against each other. Even though we're being oppressed by the enemy, this is the curse. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege of straightness, wherewith thy enemy shall stretch thee and thy gates. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law, that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahuwah thy Elohim. Then Yahuwah will make thy plagues wonderful, and, and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues, and for and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses, and long continuance. We sick for a long time. We have been sick for a long time as a people, as a nation. Very sick. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Remember, when we were in Egypt, all those plagues they didn't touch. They didn't touch Israel. They touched the Egyptians. They didn't touch our nation. They trusted. They trust. They destroyed Egyptian. That same protection can be afforded to us if we get back in line. You do realize that, right? It can. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So in other words, the, the, the sickness and diseases that were in place during Egypt and during the scriptures being written and translated and retranslated, every new disease that's out there will come upon us as a nation, as a people, because we are not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. So if they create a new virus, a new disease, and you will get it. If you will get it, if you're not as a nation, if we're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, there is nothing that's going to protect us from our captivity and the enemy and our enemies' uh, perpetual hate for us. If we don't get back in line and keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and be the people He has called us to be, He chose us for all the nations in the world. He chose us. Okay, and ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for most multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of our God. Millions, millions, and hundreds of millions, of billions of the of us have been murdered and killed because of our disobedience. And he used the nations around us to do that. So should we live as the nations that surround us? And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. We are not in Israel. We are not in our promised land, in our land of our heritage. We are everywhere else but there. Israel is being trodden down by the Gentiles now. Okay? 
and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Christianity, Islam, and among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall for the sole of thy feet have rest. But Yahuwah shall give thee a heart, a trembling heart. Come on now, people. We don't have any kind of power. And failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thou life shall, be, shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. And shall have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, and I've done this myself. With God, with Yah, it were evening. How many of us have had to get up and go to work and said, oh, I wish it was 4 o'clock or 4.30 or 5 or whenever I got. I mean, me and my co-workers today, as we walking through the hallways or whatever, going to meetings or whatever, we'll say, girl, it ain't 4.30, girl, it ain't time to go yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith shalt thy fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And Yahuwah shall bring into now listen to this now, this is the prophecy. And the and Yahuwah shall bring thee into Egypt, which is bondage, again with ships. How do we get here? Transatlantic slave trade, we were on ships. By way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again which is Jerusalem, our promised land, our nation, our homeland. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. We were, sold, we were sold as slaves to our enemies, as bond men and bond women, and no man shall redeem you. No man shall, shall take you out of it. No man is going to save you. So that's it. That's Deuteronomy 28. And that was verses 15 through 68. And so it says, um, and you guys are she gonna read some more? Probably. I'll probably do a part three to this. But yeah, I think I'll do a part three to this. So uh is where I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video right here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do a part three of one law part four. Should Israel behave as the nations that it surrounds it? Shalom.